So hello, now six days I have left my caterpillars of Sami Arizzini alone in that cage here with um, some bushels of uh, food and now today I want to uh, see what they did here and how they were eating and to what stage they have uh, developed now. Now you will see here first, this is just to show you how much water they suck up if you have a look here uh, in this glass there's only a little bit of water left here um, so you can see that in that dry atmosphere here uh, in Switzerland in the winter where we uh, heat a lot uh, inside of our rooms we need a lot of water uh, here we have to uh, make put some more water in so that the plants can suck it up and also that the caterpillars that live on these plants can drink from the water that the plants uh, suck up. So, do we see anything here? Though in the uh, other thing, I didn't see anything. Also, no fresh uh, traces here. I see one larva, uh, one caterpillar on the back, and here I see another. I see another one, a bigger one. This is already L2, uh, second stage, the end of second stage. Uh, I try to show it to you without spilling too much water, so how are you? Oh, yes, I take a little, just to show you another L2 stage of this caterpillar. Here you can see it underneath uh, the leaf of Brunus cerasus is only one, and they are not uh, very big, also it's on already the second stage, but they are still very small now at this stage. We will see whether we see for more, because here on some of the leaves I have seen some more traces, but also here you see in one week the whole two deciliters, 200 milliliters of water have been sucked up, and so this plant is pretty dry, so that's too dry for the caterpillars, we have to throw them away and give them some new food that I have prepared already here. So let's see what this is here. This seems to be a younger uh, sprout of Prunus Lauro Cerasus and here if you go if you see now here this is uh, this is probably what they like. Not that not the old um, leaves that are pretty hard, but these young ones here, the other younger ones, so you see here on the knees there are a lot of bigger, already third stage here, uh, this is third stage, the one here, this is uh, second stage uh, here on this side, so you see they have grown on this leaves and I will of course uh, give some more water into this cup and then close it again and leave them on this uh, stem because they will it's not worth to take them away from these uh, leaves and we don't want to disturb them too much so I just put some more water in here and then I make a new cup here and can suck up some more water and also uh, this one here is a larva that I should try to take up and put it on the leaf like this so that this larva also can survive and put it to this side so this is the one part of it the second part, oh no, there's another one here, the big bushel of laurels. Then this is completely uh, shredded to pieces. And if you look on the, on the bottom side of this leaf, this is a dried one here, you don't see any traces here. But on this, on these leaves, underneath these leaves, it's completely filled with a lot of us and caterpillars, they have to be very careful that they don't fall down here. Oh, I probably, I probably open this 
Yeah, so we can see, have a look on the knees, the leaves, where they sit. So here we have them. Some of them we see here. A lot more we see there. Yeah, and there, and here we see already this one. This is third stage, this is second stage. And here is first, the small, um, first stage. So they seem to grow well also on Bruno's Lauro Cerrosos that we find in big quantities uh, around our places where we live here in Switzerland, Europe. It's a plant that is very common in gardens because they plant it too for the fences because they are evergreens. And that's a good thing because we can grow some Yaritzini also in the winter. If you want to see the other ones on the Ligustum, you just move to the German playlist and there you will see what they did to the Ligustum leaves. Thanks for watching.